today, Grant Rowley from speedcafe.com. We're here in the sunny city of Palmerston North ahead of the third round of the V8 Super Tourer Series at Manfield. The Super Tourist category has just had a public scrutineering and a huge turnout for an autograph signing with all of the drivers. Speedcafe.com caught up with category CEO Paul Radisic and star driver Greg Murphy. A public autograph signing for the drivers isn't unusual, but I guess in this part of the world, public scrutineering is a uh, you know a little bit different. It allows the fans to get up and close to the cars on the day that they first hit the track. Look, exactly. I mean, it does two things: it brings the public in to see see the cars and uh, gets the town involved, and also tells everybody that Manfield's. Uh, happening the event and uh, as you say the scrutinary is pretty unique really but it gives everybody an opportunity you know we've got an hour of downtime so you know we, we nominate someone from another team who uh, comes along with the scrutineers and we go right through all the cars so it gives a chance for other teams to make sure that uh, you know nobody's doing anything untoward and uh, you know the teams have the opportunity to look over all the cars so it sort of keeps the peace amongst everybody and uh, it's and it's something different as well well you know we, we need to expose what we're doing here with super tourers you know and get it get the the knowledge out there get the, expose it to all the fans and the, I mean this area especially too around the, the Manawatu here where we are uh, with the Manfield race a huge uh, motorsport following through this area and um, you know we're, we're proud of what we got we um, and we want to uh, get as many people involved in following Super Tourers is what we possibly can. It must be a bit of a rush for the teams to come and do this and then ship the cars over because only in an hour or so they're out for first practice. Uh, you know, are they happy, you know, doing that? Um, some are, some are not. But yeah, look, it's a little rush. But at the end of the day, it's about, you know, it's about working together and uh, promoting the category. I mean, this is our our third event coming up, so it's, we're still in our infancy. So um, the guys are, are prepared to get right behind it. And and it, yes, there is a bit of inconvenience because they set up at the track yesterday, and uh, as you say, at Dark Route bring the transporters down here for an hour and a half and then straight back at testing um, later this afternoon. But it's it's all doable, it's all planned out and uh, as long as they follow the dots everything will be fine. And just tell us a little bit about the circuit, probably mixed emotions for you, a couple of very big career results and one very big career shunt as well. Yeah, yeah I did have a, a serious uh, crash here, it was um, back in 1995 and um, Ended up uh, firing a Formula Holden, a Raynard uh, 92D Raynard um, through the back fence. Uh, it um, uh, going in reverse direction, so it's the last turn on the direction we're racing this weekend. But the first turn that in, in 95 during the New Zealand Grand Prix um, had a brake failure and fired a, the Raynard through the um, the the back sign hoarding and over outside the circuit. So that was um, is something to remember. I've got some great photos of it, but uh, my memories at the time weren't uh, weren't too fond. But you do have some fond memories as well. This is where your career really started. Yeah, it was. Um, this is where it all began. I won a, won a scholarship here back in 1990, which was a, a season racing Formula Ford in New Zealand. And, and I was based here for a couple of years working for a uh, guy by the name of Richard Lester who set up the, the scholarship that I won. It was sponsored by Shell at the time. And um, the, they did an amazing job running that for a few years. And I was the inaugural winner. And that, that gave me my springboard into car racing. Otherwise, uh, good chance I wouldn't have made it. And I guess the question that all your fans want to know is, how's your back? Yeah, back's good. Back's really good. Um, it's just still uh, the nerve that was affected by the, the, the injury that is um, still playing up a little bit. But it's, um, it's one of those things that does take a bit of time. And, um, you know, I'm expecting it will come right over the next little while. But it hasn't affected uh, my driving so far. And I'm comfortable. I've got no pain. It's just a little bit of uh, numbness in my foot.